OKW Status Report, 26th of January 1942. Status of enemy actions up to this point. Even though the enemy sustained crippling losses and a large part of their army were surrounded at Leningrad, they have made an astounding recovery. Their winter offensive were much stronger than anticipated, which meant we had quickly had to use our armored reserves to shore up the front line and stop multiple breakthroughs. Our infantry divisions were not at all prepared for the winter and their combat efficiency is low to poor. We have been committed to hold the line running from Tula in the north to Stalino in the south to protect our current supply line. We are taking crippling losses but so far we have denied the enemy any breakthrough. Fourth Army in Army Group Center and Sixth Army of Army Group South is struggling to hold their position. Eleventh Army around Stalino is slowly being pushed back, but they are still maintaining a cohesive front. Army Group North and Ninth Army Third Army Panzer Group is holding OK around Moscow and north of Moscow. Supply Line Our great success in the summer campaign caught us a bit off guard and the supply line had not reached the front in many places when the winter set in. A decision was made to anchor the supply line north from Tula down south to Stalino as it was assumed that those cities would not be threatened during the expected Soviet winter offensive. However, the Soviet army made a remarkable recovery and they hit us hard, forcing us to defend the supply line at all costs. If a combination of Soviet attacks would take Tula and or Stalino, all one of the cities would be lost to an offensive and partisans would cut the other link, the 2nd Army, 2nd Panzer Group, 6th Army, part of 1st Panzer Group and the Italian Army would in effect be cut off from supplies, and we would not have the strength to reopen that supply line. That would force us to repair the railways around Stalino and or Tula, which would take a minimum of 2 to 3 weeks, but more likely 4 to 5 weeks. It was a bad decision to run the supply line so relatively close to the front, but now we have no option but to hold the supply line until it can be reinforced, or in other words, we have to hold Tula and Stalino at all costs. Reason for current defensive strategy it would have been preferred to use a mobile defensive strategy where we could give ground and counterattack and cut off enemy spearheads. However, the winter have depleted most units and no such strategy could be employed. Instead, we had to commit our panzer forces to holding the front, leaving us with no resource. Most infantry divisions by themselves cannot stop even a weak enemy attack. A fear is that if the front would extend just a fraction more, that would crumble a large part of the front, as units would have to be diverted and possibly even unfit for combat units would be put in the front to give at least a token defense. For the same reason, any major retreat is out of the question, as that would either threaten the supply line or extend the front to a point where a breakthrough would be inevitable. Right now, even though the losses are staggering, we can rotate some units and do a slow fighting with it all. In the north, we mostly hold, but 4th Army are struggling to hold this position, but it has some space to trade if needed. Not much, but some. In Army Group South, 6th Army is also struggling to hold, but it has more space to give, and it is doing a slow fighting retreat. 
In the south, around Stalino, we must make the enemy pay, so it cannot capture the city. So it's a slow fighting withdrawal there also. Or rather, we are fighting and being forced back. That is the current status of the front at this point. We have also started a preliminary planning for the coming summer offensive, which will be codenamed Jack in the Box. Even though it's still early to plan for a coming offensive, as we will not know the strengths of our units or the strengths of the enemy, some initial planning have started. The main aim of this summer offensive will be to take back lost ground, and create a good defensible position for the winter 1942-43. We must inflict as many enemy casualties as possible, while sustaining as few as possible ourselves. This to preserve the army for the greater offensive coming in 1943. Stage 1 of Jack in the Box will be Army Group North. As soon as the winter offensive will diminish enough, we will start shifting the bulk of the 18th Army, except L Corps, and the whole of the 4th Panzer Group to the Leningrad pocket. We want to eliminate that as soon as possible, to activate Finnish forces for some limited offensive actions. As soon as the pocket is eliminated or close to be eliminated, one to two corps of Force Panzer Group will shift to the Finnish front. There they will attack and capture the city of Sheropovets, moving the front east, creating a new front that will be the static front for the rest of the war. The reason for this is to create a good defensible position with good terrain to fall back on if needed. As soon as this objective is reached, and 18th Army have eliminated all of the pocket at Leningrad, they will move in the direction south of Rybinsk Reservoir together with 4th Panzer Group. And then they will attack in direction towards the city of Yaroslav and Ivanov. They will later be supported by 9th Army. They will capture those cities and they will dig in there for the winter. Stage 2 of Jack in the Box Army Group South All Panzer Groups, except 4th Panzer Group, will be diverted to Army Group South. They will attack anywhere between Voronezh and Stalino and encircle a large amount of enemy troops, where possible. As soon as that is done, they will switch their attack south in the direction of Rostov, capture that city where the 3rd Romanian Army and the 11th Army will dig in for the winter. The Panzer Groups will then turn north and attack and capture Voronezh and push as far east as possible. Stage 3 As soon as Stage 2 and 3 have been concluded, 4th Panzer Group will attack south, supported by 18th Army, 16th Army and 9th Army. From the south, 2nd, 3rd and 1st Panzer Groups will attack north and link up with 4th Panzer Group, as far east as possible of Tula. They will encircle as many enemy units as possible, create a short defensible front and dig in for the winter. Conclusion The summer offensive will be a number of strikes rather than an all-out offensive, as we are predicting that few of our units will be at 100%. Currently we estimate rather a two-third strength for most units. We need to create space that we can use during the winter 1942-43, for a more mobile winter defense, with a large enough reserve force to do strong counterattacks when possible. So, a short front that can be relatively easily defended, 
will supply the resource we need for our mobile defense. However, we cannot sustain heavy casualties in this summer offensive. So we have to cut down our casualties while afflicting as many casualties as possible on the enemy. Priority is to push the enemy as far east as possible. This will be the operation Jack in the Box. Here ends the OKW status report, 26th of January, 1942.